Hello and welcome to some more Train Simulator 2021 gameplay, where today we're going to be taking a Union Pacific SD70M, uh, basically along the Sherman Hill route. Um, no idea where we're starting from, but we're going towards Lamory, supposedly. So that'll be this will be good, I'm sure. I was going to do some along the North Jersey coast uh, line. Um, the game seems to be th having a bit of a wobbly with that one at the moment. It's either freezing or just throwing me out. So I'm going to ignore those ones for the moment and just do some sort of big heavy-hitting American freight trains. Uh, I'd like to give my thanks to David Miller, who has kindly donated to the channel. So thank you ever so much for that, David. It is greatly appreciated. If, like him, you would like to help support the channel, you can do by donating to the PayPal link found down below. Any and all funds go immediately back into the channel to help better the content, not only from this, but for other projects I have in the pipeline. Additionally, if you have any route recommendations or trains you would like to see me drive, please do let me know, and I shall see what I can do for you. However, if you are looking for recommendations, or look, yeah, well, if, if you are looking for recommendations for me to do stuff in Wales, uh, please know I don't have the Welsh routes uh, available to hand. I've got the bulk of most things. Just uh, nothing from Wales. I will do more with the North East Corridor, with um, all the various sections that come along with it. And we'll do some more runs with the Acela Express. This I find very hard to believe. Like this would ever happen. That steam locomotive, granted, is powerful. However, holding that much weight, even if those containers were empty, I can't see it myself. But then what do I know? Oh. Increased, decreased difficulty, increased brakes. Yeah, you know, we'll do it from there. So we're running auto racks. You are running a heavy auto rack. Even says auto rack in the thing. What do you know? Uh, yeah, you are running a heavy auto rack train, so you will be routed west on track three. I didn't get all of that, but what we've got? Is it a double header? No, we're going triple. Quad. We're going quad. All right. Um... Dispatch to 4949, you are clear to go. Wait for 7847 eastbound to pass before crossing onto track 3. Well, I can go 4th. So, uh... Let me just hop out here. Nope. I can go forward, yes. I'm not waiting for anybody there, no. Anyone behind me? Nope. All I know is that this is a long train. Okay, headlights on. Oh, hey there. Thanks for letting me ride. I transferred here recently and need to learn the line. Um, hi, Tom. Pleasure. Uh, well, should we just do a quick screenshot first before we um, need to do anything? Ah, hello. Ah, that's the auto rack train down there. So we want one auto rack coming in and we're going to be heading off. That's fine. Let's do a cheeky little zoom in. Whoops, a daisy. Something like that. Beautiful. Right then, so. There we are, released. Tell you what, the acceleration is uh, quite pronounced. Good lord.
So is this just an auto rack or is this a mixed consist that we've got going on here? Oh, got a mixed consist. Oh, no, that's just gone, so that's now can, that can now be released. Yeah, why not? Have a play with a bell. So, does that mean that we're all good to go? Let's... Is that... My mate is a ghost, because out on the outside I can see him. In here, not a soul. Is there anything in here I want to play with whilst we're still going? Do trust that light ahead of us would allow me to uh, go without hindrance. I like the horn is just a button. Medium ditch, bright. Should we go bright? How does bright look? Nope, that doesn't help. What's at the back anyway? Of course, we haven't passed the rest of the train yet. Right, let's just go... Right. There we go. <laughs> let's just leave that be. God knows how many wagons we've got on this thing. A fair amount. Have a cheeky look at the signals ahead. Yep, I think, yeah, we're good now. We are absolutely golden, so it's just going to be, <coughs> excuse me, going to be a nice, easy run. Start giving it some extra juice as we uh, hit the climb. But with four locos on this, I think we'll be okay. But if we're going to be on track three the entire way, then I feel a nice easy run. Just got to be cautious of the speed. Just start giving it a bit more power. I'm not too sure what the top speed of this particular uh, locomotive is. I would imagine it would be, what, 80 miles an hour? Seeing as I'm not actually going to be doing much, I am going to go and sit uh, 
let's go sit on the road. Let's go sit here. And we can watch this monster just roll on past. Those of you who wish to count the wagons, now is your chance. So we had a coal train coming past us as well. Oh, we've got a bog down there. Jolly good. I wonder if Tom's going to be making him, uh, himself any aware during the course of this, so he's going to look, pop up every now and again and go, oh, by the way, this is, I like seeing this. Oh, I think I know this place. Just to add some flair to this, because I suspect this is going to be quite an easy little run where all I've got to do is just keep an eye on speed. which isn't terribly difficult, but then going off my track record, I have a tendency to speed where uh, you shouldn't. Otherwise known as speeding, bizarrely. Shut that down to 50. You wouldn't think we're climbing, would you?
Mind you, it's not the sharpest grade in it in the world. What's this coming up ahead then? Does that tell me anything? Uh, no. Curious as to what this is going to be. Well, whatever it is, I've gone past it now. I don't know. Doesn't make sense to me. Mind you. That's to me makes me believe I'm going up to a red light soon. Spear. Uh, sure, okay. Guess what I need to do is, um, sit here and just keep an eye on. Huh. Well, we're chasing another train, which is interesting. What? I'm really concerned what line he's on. Right, he's on the far one, but what's... Are we... Am I stopping? Is he stopping? What's... That would be a yes.
Okay, we'll give it a boot full and away we go. This is a bizarre section of line, but ho hum. I believe that that's, that's a Union Pacific um, coal train. Yeah, it is. I still maintain that this is a bizarre section up here. I do love it's taken us this long to get there, though. The rest of our train hasn't actually got through there yet. Full of cars, I would presume. Could be empties. Or they could be full of cars. But yeah, this is just a really weird section of line. Look. There we go. What do I know? trains disappearing off into the uh, into the unknown. Is that the new locos up there? Yeah, it was. I wonder if we'd ever see that coal train again. It may pass underneath us. Or we might pass underneath it. Or we might not ever see it again. Who knows? But it's somewhere over there. We're just running on our lonesome. Nothing but the American countryside to keep us company.
We've got three miles to go to our next waypoint. Signal's clear, happy days. They could probably allow these freight trains to go faster along here, I'm sure. And all is still good. See if we pass anything on this particular section of the line. No, nothing was waiting for us. So next mile is going to be mile post 532 in 4.6 miles.
go to the other side and see if there's anything over there, apart from the countryside with some hills. It's very lonely out here. What can I play with inside the cab? I went over here. Is there anything I can play with? Right, let's go back over to the main console. Is it open a window? Nope. There's no manner of things behind us. Tom is keeping suspiciously quiet throughout this. After his very brief introduction at the start, he's not said a dicky bird since. I wasn't paying too much attention to that light, so I trust that all is well. If not, I'm going to be in a spot of bother. Right, we're coming up on the next waypoint. Milepost 532. Dispatch to 491 and westbound on 3. I am going to route you into Lynch. There might be a problem with the train ahead. Wait at Lynch and stand by. Okay, some excitement. Two miles before we get into Lynch sidings. I hear that cars are getting blown off the track sometimes. I wonder if that's what's happened. The Wyoming weather sure is unpredictable. These clouds came out of nowhere. It was fine when we started. I hadn't actually paid that much attention to the weather, to be fair. 
Well, thank you for your input there, Tom. Yeah, we've got just over a mile to go, so I might as well shut off. Okay, we're coming into Lynch sidings. Seriously? You've got it as 30, and you're actually doing me for 20 miles an hour. That's ridiculous. That's absolute lunacy. The HUD even says 30, but then speed is actually 20. That's... Yeah, okay. Wow. Flash of thunder. Blimey. The weather has turned. Well, we're certainly not going to be getting much in the way of uh, points in today's run, then, are we? And it's starting to rain. Good. Blimey, the weather is turning on us. Well, considering we were, what, almost two, th two or three minutes late going into the first waypoint, we've uh, clawed back four minutes, so we've done very well there.
just rock up to the signals and then we'll uh, bring the train to a halt. Seeing as my train isn't actually in the complete siding yet. And now we must wait. It'd be awkward if the rest of the train wasn't actually in the sidings. That would be quite amusing. Alright, uh, 4949 westbound, this is dispatch. Uh, the 7610 westbound in front of you has a fault. I'm going to route it to Harringham when, where you can pass. Alright, so I can go ahead then. a bit of a wait to the rest of our train then gets back onto the main line where we can then up the speed to 50 once again. Pretty sure they can allow us to go faster. Usually to find out what uh, train is going to be stuck in front of us. It'd be highly amusing if it was that coal train that has done up a massive loop round, but then it wouldn't be.
place your bets on what you think the train ahead is going to be. I think it's going to be another coal train. It's either a coal train or another auto track. I think it's a coal train. Now, is Tom going to chirp up at any point during this again, or is he going to remain quite silent? No green light, so all is well for the moment. We've got three miles to go before we ascertain what freight train in front of us has developed a problem. The gradient hasn't changed, it's been 0.8% the entire way. Going to see if our little dispatcher friend pops up and gives me anything to, to go by.
seems to be getting into a more populated area of uh, for forestry. Well, you, you can't really use the word forestry, can you? It's just heavily treed, because there's a... It wouldn't constitute a forest, is it? It's not even heavily wooded. Right, coming up towards the scene of the crime. Seventy-four westbound to four four nine. Got an engine fault here. I'll need to wait until some crew arrives from uh, Cheyenne. So the road is yours. Looks like the storm is whipping up. Thank you, six ten. That's very nice of you. So you've got an engine fault. That's got really dark all of a sudden. Oh, here comes the storm. Hey, it was a coal train. So we stopped at Perkins sidings in just over seven miles. I'll tell you what then, I'm I fancy myself for a screenshot as I good god this thing's up is this is this running full? Is that coal or is that grain? Oh it's grain oh it's a grain train alright cool anyhow do 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 oh there's only, only two of you I thought there'd be more than that but fair enough right let's sit here It is never ending, isn't it? Okay, we've got the windscreen markers going to uh, help us see.
and now I'll drop that down to 50. Four nine four nine westbound. This is dispatch. I have an early report of a lightning strike at uh, Hamosa and possibly Rockfall. Wait at Birkings until I have this confirmed. Oh, wonderful! I presume, I can't remember when I started this, but this must be, when I get, when I get to Perkins, this must be the end of the scenario. You know, I think what would be good in games like this, where you're doing these big, long American freight routes, is I know that the the dispatcher and the engineer are always in conversation with one another, and sometimes even other train uh, engineers or train drivers um, are always in constant communication, always having you know little conflabs every now and again. And I just think it would make this game so much more interesting if they if they had it where you had audible bits going on through this, you could hear the train drivers talking to one another. I think that'd be great fun. Right, well to me it means that the next signal is going to be red. Well, I have no idea when the next signal is going to be. It could be in three miles time, I have no idea. I know I can stop in plenty of time should I see it appear on the HUD. But it's just a question of when it's going to be. My suspicion is, given how close we are now to Perking sidings, that this signal in question will be for me going in there. I can't possibly see it being anything else. Well, we've got it for the entrance coming up. And we've got the road to go in. Let's nice. nice. suddenly got brighter. Right now, is that going to be 30 or is that going to be 20? I'm prepared to say it's going to be 30, however, there's also suspicion that it's not going to be 30 and it's going to be 20. And it's going to give me another ridiculous penalty. Nope, they both say 30. What's the best you know it will be 20? Are we 
we're crossing over. It is 20. Uh, seriously? It's just ridiculous. That is absolutely stupid. So I trust that the signal that's going to be around that corner will be clear for us, seeing as we're going to be stopping just beyond it anyway. Well, more to the point, whatever signal there is supposed to be in front of me, it's not there. Well, I've crossed it and nothing's happened, so... Nope, no idea. Now it suddenly goes to 30 miles. See, I don't understand this. I genuinely don't. So I assume then what? What's, what's... Okay, so it's 20 miles an hour to cross over. And then the minute you've crossed over, you can go up to 30. Why not just put a 20 limit in there for us folk to know? Because I'm not to know. Please stop. This is dispatched. Crew have arrived at Hamosa to survey the damage. Please stand by until we hear whether it is safe to continue. We're, the game's given me authorization to continue onwards, so... I've got a green light, so... 
I trust that the points are set to me. 4949, this is dispatch. I've just heard that Hermosa has been deemed safe. The Rockfall has not affected any track. You can proceed. That's very nice of you. Let's go and sit here then. Give it some willy. At some point, the rest of this train will clear. Uh, even though Tom is supposed to be learning the route, he's been very quiet and is asking questions. I thought he'd want to be all over this, but uh, nope. Made two appearances throughout, and that is it.
we've got some amber lights, which means we're probably going to have some reds to contend with at some stage. Interesting that the speed drops to 40 coming up. Or is that the train coast, I would have thought. Got enough weight behind us, and we're going uphill. So you would have thought that gravity will probably just uh, do the rest for this one. However... Maybe not. No, I think we should be okay. So we've got to go via Dale Junction, Main 2 West. Looks so like we're good on that front. Nothing behind us. Let's see if anything passes us. Okay, yep, yeah, all is well for us. I don't trust this at 40 miles an hour. I really don't. I'm curious to see how much of a jolt this is going to be. And, yep, yeah, there we go. It's just stupid speed limits that get thrown up in your face and you get no warning. It's absolutely ridiculous. It really is. Completely bloody stupid. Well, there was thinking it was going to be a straightforward run to Lemery. There was always seemed to be something happening to keep you on your toes. Yes, Tom, thank you for stating the bleedingly bloody obvious. Another auto rack train. Not just auto racks, it's like it's a mixed bag. It's a real mixed bag.
probably going to force me back in the cab at this point. Oh no, I can just about uh, squeeze my head through. We've got one mile to go before we have to go via Hermosa. Supposedly Hermosa Track 3 is what I guess the hashtag means. I wouldn't surprise me if I get thrown onto another track with a weird speed limit again. Good God, it didn't happen. But one does ever cease. Pretty much going to be riding the brakes throughout this section now. We've got a coal train coming down. Go by her most main three. For our speed goes up to a dizzying 60 miles an hour. Jesus Christ. With the storm having passed, the rest of the run to Lamry proves uneventful. Well done, you have completed the scenario. Yay! Well, okay, that was... That was a weird one. Silver? Yeah, well, that works. Those 20 zones were my downfall. They really were. They were just so unexpected. They were absolutely... Absolutely bloody horrible, they were. Right, well, there we are, then. <clears throat> I do like the Sherman Hill route, it is good, but it can be a complete pain in the bum. Right, if we do... Uh, let's find another American one. Um, let's go... No, that's German. What have we got? North Jersey coastline. No, I don't really want to do North Jersey coastline, because that's just a bit of a... Oh, no, I could do North Jersey coastline, because I did North Jersey, Morrison Town and coastline. I've done a couple on there. Might do something on here. 
take charge of an ALP 45DP for a full evening's run from Rahway to Aberdeen, Masawan. Yeah, I could do that. Or well, I might do another freight run, actually. Um, Northeast Corridor. I will probably do Lucky Northeast Regional. Did I not do that one? Was it? I've done that one and... Oh, it was that one and this one. Right, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably do... I'll do that one as a Northeast Cor Corridor one at some point, but... Um, in terms of freight, let's go, nope, let's not do that one, let's not do that one, that's Riviera, that's all the wrong stuff. Sherman Hill, um, might do, what's this one? Ah, oh, hold on, I think I've done that one, but then the thing failed on me. What about this one? Nope. What about... What's this one? Seems too easy. Ah, this one looks interesting. You are the engineer of Union Pacific's SRVKCX, a military special movement operating from Roseville, California, to Kansas City via Union Pacific's Lamry, to Lamry subdivision. The train was yarded at Lamry for an engine change, but you are now ready with a pair of Union Pacific SD-70Ms as power to forward the military equipment special over Sherman Hill and on to Bory Cutoff. That's what I'm doing next, because that sounds bloody good fun to me. Uh, and then the next American passenger one will be the Lucky Northeast Regional uh, on the Northeast Corridor. Then after that, um, we're going to do um, probably something like this. Yeah, we'll do these two after that one. Uh, and then we're going to go on to the South London Network. No, we're not. You're going to do... You're going to do... What are you going to do? Your... Let's go back up here. Because you're going to go back into Europe. So let's do... We'll do that one next, a nice, simple one. But then after that, I haven't got the faintest idea, so I'll just make stuff up as I go along. Right, so that is the plan, so just to recap, the next one I'm doing is... Uh, I've lost it. Uh, nope. I think it was this one. Was it that one? Hello? Yes, it's that one. So, uh, I hope you all enjoyed watching that one. And if you have, please do like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment. And I shall catch you with the next one. So, uh, take care, guys. Goodbye.